people are gonna complain if I blow this thing all the time. But yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alistair Findlay. I'm a cartoonist and comic artist. Um, I like all forms of visual communication, drawing in ink, and giving expression to, uh, to stuff through narrative sequences, visual narrative sequences. Um, I live in Johannesburg. I think it's the best city in the world. Um, you know, a lot of people think, you know, uh, South Africa's going down the tubes, and, but at the same time, Miraculous things happen all the time. We got the World Cup last year. It just put the whole place on the map. There was a euphoria here, and I think, you know, left a very good legacy. Um, on the other hand, you look at a crumbling transport system. Things are never working. People complain about the taxi drivers. At the same time, suddenly you've got a huge project like the Gaut train, which is a train service that runs linking... OR Tambo International Airport with Johannesburg, world-class service. You feel you're in Germany or in Switzerland when you get onto this thing. Um, it's uh, 10 minutes from the airport into Johannesburg. They're now finishing the link between Johannesburg and Pretoria, which is like a tale of two cities, bringing them together. So all these things are, you know, just make one think this is a, a superb place to be. Well, I did go on the Gaut train, and it was like the opening of a... You can imagine it must have been like when the first railway ran. Um, you could see the train coming in on the station, and the driver behind the windscreen, you could see, was smiling from ear to ear. And it was a black woman driving the train, and everyone on the platform just clapped, clapped and cheered. It was such an emotional moment the first day the Gaut train ran. And it just because it's world class, it's beautifully designed. When you travel to Pretoria along the highway and you look at the embankments and the design, it's a sweeping, graceful piece of engineering. It's not just a, a, a utility. There's something really spectacular, spectacular and um, uh, victorious about it, I think. Well, the, the phenomenon here in Joburg is you've got all these um, cars driving around only with one person in them. So you've got this incredible um, uh, log jam in the traffic. Um, it can take... You, you can't plan ahead. When, if you've got to be at a meeting in Pretoria at 12 o'clock and you think you can leave it at quarter past 11, you've got no idea. You can't say, oh, it's going to take 45 minutes. One day it takes 45 minutes the next day it would take you three hours for no apparent reason, just because of the traffic jamming up so much. But with it, if you can hop on the train, uh, you can take your laptop with you or book and you can remain uh, productive en route there and find yourself there in, in 40 minutes flat. Um, it's a tremendous advantage for business and so on. Everybody can afford it. Actually, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I was surprised to see that they've published the, the projected rates and they, they've, it's very affordable. And is, uh, is anybody on it? I mean, is it stuffed? Is it packed, that guy train? Well, at the moment, it's just running the service from the airport to Johannesburg and back. So, yeah, every, everyone who's, who's leaving on a plane or arriving in South Africa can make use of it. And so I think it's going to run pretty full.